Right, we might as well start. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Uh, Super Thursday. I've just listened to Radio 4 and they've come in because of all the uh, elections. Those of you who are old enough to vote, as probably most of the people on here, uh, we've been told to take your own pencils to vote. Uh, I thought it was quite a funny sort of thing going on there. Uh, that, that means that half the population can now write, which is a shock to me. Right, going forward, uh, quickly from uh, uh, yesterday, as we said, whole time trading point of view, uh, we've seen uh, uh, a lot of volatility, roller coaster rides this week, both huge ups, huge downs. I think yesterday we saw that at Wall Street at 2.30, a shocking move, almost 180 ticks down by a rally, where, which everyone expected <laughs> over the next hour and a half. Right. Why do we enjoy Thursdays? People have been here before. A lot of names I recognise as such because of uh, we have some of the biggest figures out on a Thursday. And obviously, we normally get the most volatility out on a Thursday. Uh, the news out at seven o'clock, we'll go through it quickly with the German factory was out, which was three percent, which is bullish. And we'll probably expect to get uh, some buying on the DAX at eight o'clock. Yet again, we'll wait and see. And we'll come by that to a minute. Uh, 8.30, German construction PMI. Uh, nine o'clock, the Norwegian interest rates. Those of you who are unaware, of, that's quite important the way because uh, Norway is one of the biggest traders in the uh, derivative markets. And their interest rates are currently at the 0, 0.0. Nine o'clock, the European ECB bulletin. It's got it interesting. 9.30, the, Euro the UK uh, PMI. Uh, composite 10 o'clock probably the important figure of the morning uh, EUR retail sales 11 30 to Gundos of the ECB number two of the ECB 12 o'clock glorified Bank of England's uh, interest rates we'll go through that in a minute what could come out there 1 30 of the weekly jobless uh, uh, three o'clock obviously we do have Mr Captain speaking again remember he moved to markets so last Friday and he spoke again on Tuesday he is an uber hawk Followed by six o'clock, Mrs. Meister, who spoke again, who's also an Uber Hawk, and probably we will hear the words tapering. Remember the word tapering because you'll hear it a lot in the next five minutes as well. Uh, Twelve twenty-five, Christine Lagarde. For those of you uh, uh, who are aware, she's boss of the ECB. She may be speaking of, of the inflation, and obviously may be talking about the retail sales that, that came out at ten o'clock this morning. 2.15, Mr. Bailey, boss of the Bank of England, he'll be speaking and maybe <coughs> assessing what came out earlier. What's come out just recently, Japan is up there. Uh, Koke will seek an extension to the to their lockdown in Japan to the end of May, which is the good news for the, for the Nikkei. Overnight, Russian Green said they had no discussion so far to how to start or when to conduct the tapering, which obviously was slightly bullish for Wall Street that's coming on there. Bank of England will, will probably do a Zoom at uh, 11.55 to go through it. It comes out, they're, they're, uh, our interest rates are 0 0.1, and it's basically 99% certain that we are going to leave the rates unchanged. However, we do expect on the statement that comes out at 12, a massive revise to the growth forecast, obviously up, and obviously the inflation targets that are up. And obviously we said earlier on, 2.15, Bailey will talk about that. Uh, also, they may prompt the rate setters uh, to begin uh, the word tapering. Remember, our QE total so far is 895 billion, a small number really, and we do expect on this tapering that they may mention that the Bank of England may scale down the pace of bond buys, which is currently a mere 4.4 billion a week. Again, overnight, Clarida fed long way off from their goals and their tightening policy. Uh, therefore, they're still keeping away from the uh, obviously the uh, tapering things that Kaplan and, and uh, Meister were talking about. Uh, Biden overnight said he had a compromise to the tax hikes. Remember, currently at 21 percent on the corporate rate, which Trump brought in and he wants 28 percent. But I think they're happy to meet in the mid middle at 25 percent, which should appease most of the Republicans. Right. Uh, again, uh, all day today, the elections have come out now and you would expect Labour to actually uh, win the local elections because normally the opposition have a great hand. So this would be a massive support for Boris Johnson and it's expected to be uh, tested. Obviously overnight in the news as well, which may affect the pound, but I don't think so. We do expect our whole Navy is currently uh, protecting Jersey from France. Let's go back a couple of hundred years and a Spanish armada. 
Right, again, go through quickly. We do have to remember China and Korea have reopened after their Labor Day and Children's Day holiday. Coming into the open, George, you're going to do the footsie. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have a look at the DAX as well. Remember the DAX, we do expect a slight better because the German factory orders were double what they were expected as such. Uh, a quick uh, uh, shout out there. Next Wednesday at 7 o'clock, we've got Palace Oil, professional oil trader, going to give a webinar out at 7 in the evening and we will record it. For those of you who are interested in trading oil, he will talk about the spreads, the crack spreads, the West Texas Intermediate and the Brent. So it'll be fairly interesting. Uh, we'll also be doing a Zoom at 2.25 for Wall Street. Again, it was interesting the last uh, few days this week uh, on how... Uh, 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 how the whippy the, the opens have been and how we have to be prepared. Obviously, yesterday, Wall Street was a very clear sell at 225 and did catch all the people out in that people, although we had a view to be bullish in the end of the day, we were right. Our stops and everything else. Listen to that. Just listen to that. There's, there's nothing out there. Uh, so we do expect to put our stops in. And, and remember, I think some of that on price action at the opening, we have to be as neutral as possible. Even though we have a view that we think it's going to be bullish or bearish, price action tells us accordingly. On the right here, so the quick up here, because we're slight high, high up in the DAX, looking at DAX really from the left-hand side here, 15230, 15230, 30, 38. There's a big footprint there. And although that's... a uh, probably 60 ticks away. I think the DAX does start to rally this morning. That is probably where uh, I would get out of my longs. I only put it up there because we can sometimes go back to where we are on our market profile. Uh, those of you who are uh, new to market profile, just send it and I'll ping me on the discussion group and I'll send you the uh, beginner's uh, video I did, uh, which hopefully explains it quite simply as such. Right, I'm gonna keep quiet as we come into the, the opening. I'm looking at DAX, George is looking at FTSE. Remember the last few, the last few days as such, we have seen a movement uh, in the DAX from FTSE just slightly before eight o'clock. Footsie's, cre footsie's creeping a little bit. I think the same as Jules said from the figure yesterday on the FTSE 7,041 was the previous high. There isn't a lot of reason to be short at the moment, uh, especially on the Thursday on the opening. Uh, we know there's probably stops below there, but most of the news that's come out overnight, apart from the uh, Royal Navy spat, uh, is probably positive. Very quiet in the decks. Very quiet again. No, no real move. You got anything on the, the uh, foot sheet? No, not really. A little bit, little bit no. of selling, but not really. I think we just seen that. Green. Yeah, I put, I, I did actually go. I went long at forty eight. I think uh, I'm not looking at FTSE, but obviously I think forty one probably looks like a slight pivot here. Uh, on the on on the DAX here, we're hovering around the value high one five one sixty eight. Where we got the POC of, of forty eight. We may have to wait and, uh, and see here, but there's no real trade here at all in the DAX. We've just seen it uh, trading around ten fifteen ticks. But like George said, the weighted on the opening is probably uh, a sell. We've seen it's just come off 10, 15 ticks, but that hasn't got me into being short yet. Uh, uh, look to wait and see. And obviously, the PNC and the value low down here at uh, 115.48 is where it's going to take my, my interest uh, into where we're trading. Uh, again, long day today. Same thing. We look as though it looks like busier later in the afternoon from uh, uh, midday onwards. Again, you see the bit of selling coming in the DAX. Maybe we should have gone short at, at eight o'clock but I haven't really trained it. In a way, saving some of my bullets and keenness uh, for the afternoon and the news that comes out after that. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, 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 choppy, I think is the best word to say. No clear direction in, in the tax. The same thing with the price action, as we saw on the Tuesday. It was very clear and very easy to see. Uh, and again, yesterday afternoon at 2.30, the, the Dow was very easy to see. Not a lot on the uh, on the DAX whatsoever. George, anything on the FTSE? Looking maybe the DAX no, at break 48. Chop first. Probably just market profile, isn't it now? What's the low of the FTSE? Uh, low of the FTSE is 36. It's the same as the POC. Same as the POC. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I think George... That's quite a, long, it's quite a long way. I don't know. Obviously, obviously I'd buy it. <laughs> well, it's the same... Uh, <laughs> I, I think what you're asking yourself here is that George has bought it, but I think that's more of a trade than a scalp. Uh, again, had a good week. Yeah. Uh, again, on, on, the, on, the, on the DAX here, I've got a, a bid in right on the market profile, 150, 148. The low has been 52. We're not there yet, so I haven't retraded. Very small, small candle there. Again, remember, if you don't trade, it's not because you're scared or because you're lazy. Because you haven't seen any real price action there. Although in the DAX there, there was probably a, 20, a, a 10, 15 tick of price action there. But it didn't really uh, attract me to trade. Again, obviously, as we come to the value high here, that's what we're looking at. And I'm obviously looking to go long if it breaks it and looking at that 152.30. There goes the DAX. Yeah, we see a bit of selling. And now the buying's coming. There we are. Price action there. I've gone long at 78. All right. Sometimes you have to wait. Bit of patience there. Is the FTSE gone as well? There goes the DAX. Yeah. Here we go, FTSE as well. There we are. Uh, patience patience pays off. You've got yeah. that faith. That's yeah. the faith. <laughs> but I mean, also, the important thing there in the DAX is that although it looks as though we did have sellers in there, it, it wasn't. The buyer suddenly came in, one or t probably 802, 803, and that was clear as a whistle. Basically, I think as soon as it almost broke the value high, around about 75 the previous high, and in comes a buying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, patience paid off. I've gone long at 75, 76. My stop, I'm going to put at uh, uh, 64, just below the value high. But again, I'm looking at, uh, at the stacks level to get up to 152. Where did we say it was? Just a quick look. <coughs> My word. That dog's happy. Uh, is that Bianca's dog? Uh, what did we say we in the DAX? We said it's slightly uh, the level we had from uh, yesterday was up here to be 152, 30, 33, 34. So that's where I'm going to sell my DAX out as. We've got a nice foot from here from yesterday. And there we go. In theory, uh, hopefully some of you got on that. There is no reason uh, to be short uh, in those markets. Uh, but yet again, we have to be patient to wait. Had you been long in the open, as George said, at uh, 8 o'clock, you probably would have been stopped out. Again, we wait for the price action. We wait for the confirmation. So that was good. I'll All right. below as well. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Uh, uh, when, uh, uh, we'll do our one-to-ones we've got there. Uh, and we'll come back, uh, obviously, on the, we'll come back at 11.55 for the Bank of England meeting that comes out in case they do trade the bond rates. And obviously, we're going to do the 2.25 Wall Street Open. All right. Have a good day. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Neil.